Hello, Darth Vigan here, back with another episode of War on the Sea. We are here at Singapore, and the Japanese decided to quit carrying a stick and decided to carry a baseball bat. So they have come in force to Singapore to lay the smack down on me. And uh, so I have brought up uh, some, some friends. I brought up some 139s, and they do have the uh, HE bombs. Uh, the HG bombs for the Blenheim is uh, 2.9 armor piercing, and the deck armor of the Shokaku is 2.6, so I think we should be okay there. And uh, the Blenheims, they do have the armor piercing bombs. Unfortunately, they are a little ways down here, and there is a flight of zeros around that I happen to see. Um, I don't know where they're at. They intercepted this Kingfisher down here on the on the strategic map. So hopefully they will follow him. I have him going down uh, to the southeast. Uh, everybody else is circling up to 10,000 to uh, to get ready for the bombing runs. My ships did get onto the map. However, I don't think they're going to be able to engage in the enemy. They're at 72,000 yards, and that will take them forever to get up here. So. I don't think we'll actually have to worry about doing anything there and I kind of don't want them to um, because uh, oh they're getting ready to shoot holy cow bro you're not gonna hit at that range 74,000 yards come on man you can't hit that far away jeez just hold your fire hold your fire Oops. Hold your fire, hold your fire, hold your fire. Everybody hold your fire. They are, uh, they're, they're ripped and raring to go, I tell you what. They like it. Finally, some action. I understand the sentiment. I really do. But, uh, not gonna happen, my friends. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Alright. Alright. Make sure everybody's on hold, yep. Ballarat, on hold, good. These little Corvettes, you know, they're not gonna do anything in a, in a fight anyway. So, I would be scared to even take them into the fight, honestly. But uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. They may just do nothing down here, but I definitely don't want them firing their shots at the at the guys. All right, so we, got, we do have three Hurricanes in case the Zeros do show up. And then the 139s are also getting ready to start their attack run. Uh, they are going to go for the Shokaku. No doubt about that. Blenheims as well. They're both going to go for the Shokaku. Hopefully the Zeros don't catch us. We can at least make our bombing run. Uh, that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and get up to 10,000 feet. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. Or unless the Zeros attack us then all right, the uh, 139s aren't quite up to their target height, but I'm going to go ahead and begin their target targeting here of the Shikaku because uh, I think by the time they get into range, they will be uh, at 10,000. And the Blenheims, likewise, they are at their target height, so I'm going to go ahead and slow them down, and they may attack, make their attack run even sooner. Look at all those ships. Holy oh, yeah, cow, what else here? Destroyer, battleship cargo and they've already dropped so I'm not gonna worry about the cargo ships the Chitose would be an easy sink but I, you know obviously who cares <laughs> I mean I I would care if the Shikaku wasn't here I would still be tempted to strike the uh, the battleship with my planes although I don't think uh, just being honest I would do much to, to the battleship with uh, with the bombs yeah yeah 4.7 deck. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this thing, I haven't had a lot of luck doing bombing with uh, on battleships, so not gonna not gonna start now when I have a right evil target of a Shokaku as well. So we're gonna go ahead and swing the Blimums, Blimum, 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 around, and we're gonna sink the Shokaku. Well, I doubt if we'll sink it, but we're going we're gonna to attack it. We're going to attack it regardless. Haven't seen the Zeros, so they must be flying south of here somewhere. Desperately trying to get up to the carrier to find the, 
our strike group. So I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. The 139s, are you going to get here at the same time as the Blenums? Oh, yeah, yeah. Please let me watch this bombing run in its entirety. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. We got this. I can always turn around with the 139s. Okay, look at this. He is practically setting still. And we are going to drop on the mark. Oh, mama. Get out of here. I want you guys to fly north for the winter. Alright, 139s, how close are you? Oh my gosh, close. Alright, so we're going to have to do the bombing run, unfortunately. We're going to have to do the bombing run. We're not going to get to see the Shukaku get hit. Well, we could circle around, I guess. Let's circle around. I want to see it. I want to see it happen. I want to see it happen. This is stupid, but I want to... I want to... Come on, baby. Get some good hits. Oh, yeah. That was fantastic. Only one missed. But uh, I'm not seeing a lot of damage. Not seeing a lot of damage. Minor, minor. Oh my gosh. Alright. 139s, it's your turn. They are firing. They are firing. So, it's time. It's time. Kingfisher, get up there. They they have depth charges, the Kingfishers do. I was thinking I might just drop, <laughs> drop them on there. <laughs> see what happens. Get a, get a little bit of extra damage. Okay, here we go. 139 is coming in for their attack run. No problem. Uh, someone had mentioned that I, I could do, get the same results from the AA at 5,000 feet that you do at 10,000 feet. That is not true. <laughs> I, I tested it with this exact battle. I loaded it in and I uh, flew up here at uh, 6,000 feet and uh, two of my blenums got shot down and one of my 139s got shot down uh, by the AA. So, uh, definitely not true. Uh, not true at all. Alright, so let's uh, drop these guys. And make a run for it. I'm going to hurricane you just fly right with those guys. Right? Because I don't, I don't want to lose you. For sure, he does have some fires. So that's something. He does have some fires. We're about to get two 10,000 pounders dropped on him. 10,000 pound, I wish. Two 2,000 pound HE bombs dropped on him. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now that's what you call some damage. Heck yeah. Let's see what the report says. Heavy, heavy. Wow, well, we may sink her. We may sink her. All right, those guys are all gonna skadoodle, skedaddle, skedaddle. Uh, guys, you wanna like not run into the ground, please? That would be great. Now the uh, this Congo would s s slap those cruisers around for sure if I if I, if I tried to engage. Like she would have no problem slapping those cruisers around, and uh, so I really don't want to come up there and engage with my ships. I don't have to. Granted, if, if the battleship wasn't here, I would totally do it, even though there's a lot of destroyers around. Um, because who wouldn't want to get a juicy, juicy target like this carrier? But uh, I've already got her, so. I think we're just going to be a sink. Honestly, do. I honestly think we're going to sink this thing. Alright. Kingfisher. Do whatever you can with your little your little ordinance. What do you got? You got something. Drop torpedo, it says. <laughs> well... Let's drop it on the... Uh, should I drop it on the... On the Congo? Nah. We're going to drop it on the carrier. We want to see if we can finish her off. 
Let's see if we can finish this puppy off. No messing around. We do have a couple other kingfishers around. We'll just uh, come on back up here. All right, here we go. So that's torpedo, they look like depth charges. Maybe there's not a knock on for depth charges, I don't know. Don't know. But uh, my planes are leaving the area, so that's good. I want them to get jumped by zeros. Alright, Kingfisher. Do your worst. Or do your best, rather. Uh oh. Zeros are here. Uh oh. Holy cow. Should I just go ahead and drop now? <laughs> He's about to get wrecked. <laughs> Look at this. That's actually a cool shot. I like that. Alright, um, I think I might just go ahead and drop now. It may miss, but uh, I don't think it's going to live. Yep. Oh, I didn't quite get it done. Darn. Shucks. Maybe you can crash land on that, uh, on that Shokaku. Yeah, that's too bad. You go, you go ahead and bug out, buddy. Oh, am I not gonna be able to see the? Uh... This hurricane's like, nope, I'm going after the enemy. No, you're not. Oh man, I lost my sight of the of the ships. I wanted to see the Shokaku burn, baby. Get out of your hurricane. You're very, very much too worth too much for that. Okay. Well, didn't get to drop on the Shikaku and uh, finish her off, so not sure what the end result of that will be, but uh, I do want to go see if the Shikaku's gonna, gonna die. She's at critical heavy, so I wanted to watch her sink. Uh, too late. Ah, I can't get to see her sinking. Dang it. But she is sinking. So, that's good. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. 12 command points for that. Oh my god. That is amazing. And we sunk one of their fleet carriers. Oh my god. That's what you get. That's what you get, my friends. That's what you get when you mess with us. Alright, RTB. 139's RTB. Blenheims. RTB. Hopefully we can... Um... Okay. You. RTB. Hopefully we can, uh, uh, should I continue to move up and engage? I really don't want to because uh, that battleship, like I said, will spank these guys. Maybe I can get one more strike um, in with the, uh, with the guys from Pollen Ball where that battleship gets away. That would be ideal. Okay. Oh boy. That was amazing. That was amazing. What are you doing? One DE. Probably a uh, sub, actually. Uh oh, a seagull got intercepted. Uh oh, the zeros are still up and about. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, holy cow! Some nasty weather. All right. Fly around the, the plane, the ships. 
Okay. At least I hope it's zeros. Did I escape? Not for a long time. Up, up, and away, buddy. Up, up, and away. See, they were they were down here actually. So once you turn around the other way. They may try to strafe our boats. <clears throat> yep, there they are. Okay. They're a lot they're flying low, yeah. They're gonna go for a strafing run. Forget about that, I guess. Not much I can do about that. Shoot him! Oh, yeah. Get one after that cruiser. Come on, shoot him! Got one now. Here comes another group. Another group. Holy cow. Okay. You don't even have your radar on. My God. What a noob I am. Minor damage, minor damage. Keep at them. Oh, cow, another group. What the heck? Can we just select everybody, please? And turn on your radar, for God's sake. <laughs> I don't know if they have air radar or not, but still. Maybe it'll help. Oh my God. Lots of minor damages. Alright, well, you know, could have been worse, I guess. Oh, the zeroes after this seagull here. We, we, we've, uh, we knocked him in the head a little bit. You gonna go after us again? Yeah. He's damaged. Come on. Just let us leave. He's climbing. He's climbing. Can you climb with us, buddy? Bet you he can. Bet you he can. He's desperately trying to get to height. I can't fast forward it. There he is. <laughs> Shoot him. What's a good British name? Shoot him, Trevor. Trevor British. Shoot him, George. That's a good British name. Come on, Ari. Ari Puda. Uh oh. Break, break, break. This thing is so huge and cumbersome. Dive! Oh, he's diving all right. Oh my. Lost her seagull. So Hobart lost her scout. We're leaving. Right, moderate damage at the Armandale Day. Corvette took some hits. Okay. That's fine. Let's hit these door nears to see anything here. 
There's no thunder here, guys. No thunder. No thunder. Oh, is the ship here? Typically, when you can't leave, it means there the enemy is around somewhere. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring the 139s up with the armor piercing bombs. Let's just see if we can find that Congo. Let's see if we can find Congo here. Let's just see if we can. You guys come back around that way. <clears throat> I don't want to unnecessarily uh, expose you to uh, the enemy. Go and get a Kingfisher up. And uh, see if you can find that task force. Alright, you guys want to just go into tactical and see if you can find him? Uh oh. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 139s, unfortunately, have. Uh, So they still could be some uh, some bad bad dudes around because that show say so. Gotta be careful, Plenums. Want you to spin around that way. Should we take out that Chitose or just go for the Congo? They can go for the Congo. You guys get out of there. You're gonna get nailed. Ship. Where's the Congo at? Did they split off? Not, not seeing them anywhere. Where's Chitose? Hmm. There he is. Okay. He's over on the side of the formation, strangely. Alright. It's fine. You're fine. Continue to climb. You guys are almost up to the height already. So I want you to come down here. I'm gonna make a run that way. That's where the Congo is. You guys come back around this way. To the Congo. Alright, so the Blenums are almost at target height we are going to go ahead and scoot on in and see if we can spot Congo down below holy cow visibility is like zero right now 16 <laughs> percent yeah yeah all right is that him nope that is not him decidedly not him He is further right than that. Turn right. And that's where you'll find the Congo. There we go. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Alright, good. <laughs> I don't just like that. All right, <clears throat> you guys are almost at ten thousand. Come on up. Make your attack run just like that. Okay, here we go. Blenums. Get you to form up in line ahead, and you're gonna make your attack run real nice on the Congo. Now we won't sink the Congo in one hit. Like we did in Shikaku. But we might put her in dry dock. And get some good hits. What are we going to do with those delicious 12 points we got? 
Maybe I should have went for the Chitose. I don't know. That would be almost a guaranteed scene. But I really want to damage this battleship. And I just don't know if we're going to actually do any damage here. Okay. Here we go. Coming in. Look at that. Beautiful silhouette. Oh, yeah. What do you think you're off to? Party? Party's over, pal. Alright, here we go. Look at this. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. I love battleships. I don't really care which nationality they're from. They all look really cool to me. So far, so good. Okay. Not terrible. They were armor-piercing bombs, so... Possibility of uh, good stuff there. Take a look at the initial report. We're looking at minor. As I would expect. Little 500 kilogram bombs. <clears throat> even they, even though they are armor piercing, now these are uh, 1600 bombs. I have 8.1 armor piercing, whereas the uh, Congo here, he has got 4.7 deck armor. So technically, we should be able to get some good penetration with these big 1600 pounders. We might get lucky and blow up a magazine or something. Get some heavy damage. We'll see. Let's see. Don't count us out yet. Don't count us out yet. Are we already in line ahead? Yes, we are. Okay, good. Yes, we are. Delicious. Bring it on in, Johnny. Bring in the good stuff. Oh yeah, those fires are raging. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll tell you what. I like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. This is a beautiful bombing run right here. Bombs away. Let's daddle. Bombs away, skedaddle. Let's watch the Congo burn. Burn, baby, burn. Oh. Man, that was beautiful. That was some good hits right there, man. Let's take a look at her now. Heavy moderate, yeah. Let's actually let this guy spin around because um, I don't see any aircraft that are uh, in the area. So, are we gonna add to the add to the fire here with this guy? Yeah, we're gonna drop on him. With this uh, kingfisher. <laughs> we're gonna add to the kingfisher. We're gonna add her debt charges or whatever she's got to the to the pile here. I not even blow up. I don't know. There she is. She's burning. She's a going down. Look at that. You can see her fires from way up here through the haze of the storm. Burning. Burning and burning. Alright. Let's slow her down.
She is running. I'm making a run for it. She's like, no, not the kingfisher. Not the kingfisher. Oh yeah. We're about to get kingfished up in here. We're about to get kingfished. Who are you gonna call? Kingfisher! It's not a, a great attack run, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> and spin so that we can uh, watch her burn oh yeah this would be delicious wouldn't it be hilarious if this what sinks her <laughs> that's too funny heavy moderate all right I'm gonna watch her for a little while and see if she See if she sinks. She gets her fires out, then there's no chance. But if she doesn't, you, know, you never know. All right, she has got all her fires out. Looks like she's at critical moderate though. So uh, definitely, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it to stick around. She uh, she burned for a long time. She's gonna be going back to the dry dock for sure. No. So, can't uh, can't be unhappy about that. So they hit us with a baseball bat, but at least it broke their bat. And that's all we can say about that. All right, fantastic, fantastic, critical moderate, very very good. All right, it is almost nightfall, so everybody will be returning to base soon. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.